Mark, we've, we've had um, several improved performances of late, although no wins as yet, but you've got to be encouraged by, by the kind of the style of play and, and the improvement from when you came in. Yeah, no, I am. It's just it, now we're into it three, four, five weeks. It's just making sure that those improved performances are getting the results um, and the points on the board. So, yeah, yeah, I am very encouraged with the performances, but, you know, like I said, I think after the game um, the other day was just that I want to see more from us now. I know what we're capable of, so I need to see a bit more. So, yeah, improved performances have been great. We need to get those points on the board now. Yeah, I think sort of, you know, structurally the, the lads have taken on board what we've been trying to do in training and I think that that's come across in terms of that we've, we've looked a little bit more solid, a little bit more resilient. But what I want to see now is what we do in possession. I want to see us more expansive in, in what we're trying to implement in training and in what we've been talking to the boys about. So I'm, I'm hoping to see more of that over the coming weeks. It's always going to be difficult coming into a new environment and obviously new faces being brought in and, and some potentially leaving. I think that's always going to be difficult, but the lads have kind of bought into it now and I think we're getting there. And I think you're seeing that with obviously the work rate that the lads are putting in. I don't, I don't think I've really had to question that. Um, and yeah, hopefully, like I said, they can start just believing in themselves a little bit again and playing with a bit of confidence, playing with a smile on their face. And hopefully we'll, you know, the points will start to start to come with that. Obviously, we, we entertain FC United on, on Saturday at Edgar Street, a, a team that are down there uh, along with us, so it's going to be a tough game because everyone's going to be fighting for those points. Yeah, you say a team down there, but if you look at the form, you look at the last four games, then you know, well, I think they've picked up eight points in the last, in the last four games, so uh, two wins and two draws against some really good teams, uh, beating Kidderminster Harriers at their place. I think drawing with Brackley, um, Alfreton, and then beating Blythe as well, 3-0. So I think that that shows you what we're up against this weekend. And like I said, I feel like a broken record, but every team you play at this level is going to be a tough game. It's going to be such a tough game and we've got to be right on it to make sure that we give ourselves every chance of getting the three points. Are you pleased with how the new signings have settled in? Obviously, George Lloyd's had two in three. Uh, James Roberts got his first goal on, on the weekend as well. And it all seems to be gelling quite nicely. Yeah, really pleased with the new signings. You know, all the boys that have come in have... have have given us that little bit of lift and that little bit of extra quality as well and, and the energy that some of those boys give us as well is, is fantastic. Really pleased for James obviously getting the goal the other day, really deserves it. Uh, George has been infectious as well, both his um, ability on the pitch and his work rate but also his personality. He's a cheeky chappy and, uh, and he fits well into the squad and he gives you a little bit more sort of character as well. Just touching briefly on uh, the preparation that goes into a game, obviously you're very keen in the, uh, like the sports science type of thing and you, you go through, I believe, all the, the video analysis before a game as well, so can you just like, very quickly sum up what kind of uh, is involved in that? Yeah, I'd, I would assume it's pretty commonplace now, but yeah, we would analyse obviously the opposition, we would analyse our own performances, we would look at maybe examples from top level football so Premier League maybe Champions League and looking at maybe examples of what we're trying to touch on in training and, and giving the lads of examples of look this is why we're saying this is what we think is going to work and um, yeah and, and to go with the video analysis yes we've introduced some strength conditioning we've introduced obviously the a bit more sort of science behind the numbers and it's quite interesting actually when you look at the, what the boys are doing now physically on the pitch compared to maybe three four weeks ago so that, that's been really interesting and hopefully that will continue to improve and We've obviously got those objective measures to kind of back up that subjective opinion. Um, so yeah, it's, it's you know it's a work in progress, but yeah, really pleased with with how it's going at the moment. Just finally, um, the, the crowd, the atmosphere on Saturday. I think you mentioned it in your post-match interview, but it was really positive, really loud, and they stuck with, with you, didn't they? Yeah, it was awesome, and you know I'm excited to for what it's going to be like Saturday. You know, you have to hear the noise when James did score, and that, yeah, that that was really really exciting, and I think the the boys you know feel that as well. Um, and they want to go and produce and want to go and score more goals so we can get that noise level going and hopefully get the, get the supporters fully behind us.